hello dear student today in this lecture we are going to discuss picurna viruses this will be the first lecture of medical microbiology so first of all we are going to discuss that what are picurna viruses actually Picurna is the combination of two words. Pico means small in RNA mean RNA viruses. So, Picurna viruses are small RNA viruses of relatively small structures. And these Picurna viruses are classified into two major groups. One is enteroviruses and the other is rhinoviruses. Now, first of all, we are going to discuss the major property of the picurna viruses. Equally, they are small RNA viruses. Uh, they are about 20 to 30 nanometer in diameter. They are non-enveloped viruses, mean that they do not have any enveloped. Now, if we talk about the capsid of these viruses, they have icosahedral nucleic capsid. And if we talk about the genome of these viruses, so they are single stranded RNA genome. And the genome RNA is positive polarity. It means that on entering the cell, it function is the viral messenger RNA. And there is no polymerase within the virion. Now, the most important property of these viruses, actually they are RNA viruses. So, picorna viruses replicate in the cytoplasm of the cells. They do not replicate in the nucleus of the cells. They are not inactivated by lipid solvent. Why? Because they do not have any envelope. So they are resistant to the ether. Why? Because they do not have envelope and actually envelope have lipid. So they are not inactivated by the ether. Now, the picorna viruses, actually the picorna virus family include two groups of medical importance. One is the enteroviruses and the other is the rhinoviruses. First of all, we are going to discuss about the enteroviruses. Enteroviruses are called enteroviruses. Why? Because they infect primarily the enteric tract or the digestive tract. The optimum temperature for these enteroviruses are 37 degrees centigrade, so they can infect the intestine or the liver. They are stable at acid conditions which enable them to survive exposure, exposure to gastric acid. It means that they are enteroviruses due to they cause infection in the intestinal tract or GIT tract due to two reasons. The optimum temperature is 37 degrees centigrade and they are resistant to the gastric acids. Now rhinoviruses. Rhinoviruses are those viruses they are found in the nose and throat. They do not cause the infection or they do not infect the GIT tract due to two reasons. Because they do not tolerate 37 degrees centigrade, the optimum temperature for rhinoviruses are 33 degrees centigrade. So they better grow in the region where the temperature is below 37. And the best region for its growth is nose. No, yes, 33 degrees centigrade. So they grew better at 30 degrees centigrade. And they are acidly white. Due to the two reasons, they do not tolerate the 37 degrees centigrade and do not show resistance to the acid acidity. Therefore, they cause the infections. They cause the infection only in the throat and the nose and they cannot infect the region lower the throat. Now, what are the medical important picurna viruses? The first one is polio virus, coxicai virus, ecovirus, and hepatitis A virus. They are actually they cause site of initial infection is GIT tract, 
and they are not inactivated by the stomach activity and the optimum temperature for these viruses 37 degrees centigrade now polio cause polio mellitus coxicae cause meningitis myocarditis and foot and mouth disease uh, ecovirus cause meningitis and hepatitis a virus cause the hepatitis now rhinovirus is actually they cause infection in the upper respiratory tract and they are inactivated by the stomach so the optimum temperature is 37 degrees centigrade and they cause the disease common cold in the next lecture we will discuss the polio virus and the polio myelitis its pathogenesis epidemiology sign and symptom clinical finding prevention and diagnosis of the polio we will discuss in the next lecture all these viruses and their uh, epidemiology